We are not overflowing and surging, but we certainly are very, very tight. According to the American Academy of Pediatrics, as of September 2nd, over 5 million kids have tested positive for COVID-19. That's since the start of the pandemic. Over the last two months, we've seen anywhere from a newborn all the way up to 20 years old and everything in between. Um, those children that were over 12 years old that were admitted, uh, none of them were vaccinated. And we do know that there's a significant higher rate of hospitalization for children that are not vaccinated. On Tuesday, the Erie County Department of Health released new data. From August 29th to September 4th, the highest positivity rates in the county were among people under the age of 19. One possible reason for this? Well, the ECDOH says clusters tied to child care centers, which is a concern for hospitals. The ICU is very, very busy. Our pediatric floors are very busy. Our NICU is very busy, not related to COVID, but just related to babies. Um, we do have some babies um, who were recently born uh, to some COVID positive moms born prematurely because of their severe, severe illness. So we're seeing it on that end as well. Dr. Stephen Turkovich says, comparably speaking, pediatric COVID numbers here aren't as bad as they are in other states. But already, Oshai Children's Hospital is tight. Occupancy is at 90 percent. That includes COVID admissions and other cases, including RSV. As of today, um, over the last week in September, we've had seven admissions for COVID, um, so one a day. If we continue on this trend, we are going to meet where we were in April in terms of admissions and ER visits for COVID, which was our peak month thus far for COVID. While kids are still at less risk than adults, Dr. Turkovich says all ages need to practice layering safety measures as much as possible. Liz Lewin, Channel 2 News.